Rhodesia has been slandered and exposed to the hatred and envy of communist-inspired evildoers. And despite this, or rather, perhaps because of it, we feel all the more assured of the justness and correctness of our decision. And, by reason of our firm stand, we are not alone in this hostile world. The peoples of the world, if not their governments, are no longer prepared to accept the lowering of the standards of civilization, which must result in the degradation of morals and loss of faith in the sanctity of contracts and in the written and spoken word. As each day brings with it fresh evidence of duplicity and spitefulness on the part of those now governing Britain, it is evident that the majority of the people of Britain are disenchanted with the attitude of their government in its handling of the Rhodesian issue. There is tangible evidence of sympathy and support not only in South Africa, but in other countries, such as America, New Zealand, Australia, and France, where many thousands of people are now beginning to recognize the justice of the stand we have taken in Africa. In other words, our struggle is at last being seen in its true perspective. We have many enemies, but the number of our friends is growing. To these, our friends, I would say, trust us, we will not let you down. To our enemies, I would say, you may perhaps attempt to destroy us, but you will never obtain our surrender.